All right, I'm gonna make a quick video to show someone how uh, the PWM signal and how Gerbil works with the IoT relay to turn on the DeWalt router, okay? There's the DeWalt router. Down here is my IoT relay, okay? Now, how it works is you need an S command, but the S command is actually stored in Gerbil uh, or stored in memory for the previous speed used. That's the only way you can get away with using just the M3. If I type in the M3 code right now, there's M3, I hit enter, it says okay, nothing happens. Okay. M5 turns off the turns off the router. If we scroll down and we take a look at the max RPM okay right now is 255 because I also use a laser okay we have to put in M3 S 255 which is full uh, output so the uh, the pulse wave modulator uh, sends out a constant signal to trip the relay that's what we want you don't want it to pulse that's bad for the relay and bad for the DeWalt Okay, so there it is. There's my code. Remember, M3 by itself did not work. M3S255 will turn on the, the spindle, the router. Okay, now I'll put in the M5 code, which turns it off. Now here is the, the trick. This is what uh, the only way it works is during this session... Okay, during this session, while I'm booted, in short-term memory, that speed is saved. So now, if I type in M3, it will turn on the spindle. Okay. M5 again to turn it off. But that does not work, okay, that does not work unless it's already sent a speed... Uh, command the S part of it uh, previously during the session. All right, 